Teddy. And I'm Tara. And we are Build Blocks, helping you get the most from your Lego. Every episode we choose a topic and quiz each other while building models based on that topic. So, grab some Lego, come build with us. So what are we building today then, Geese? Um, Alright, so we are opening and building from the LEGO Creator 31044 set, which is called Park Animals. And what is in the Park Animals set? Park Animals has got three sets of instructions, because it's a creative three-in-one set. So the main build is this dog with a duck um, in a pond, which is quite nice. But we're not going to build the A set. Uh, I'll leave that to the viewers to do. I'm going to be building this owl. So, what's the other build in there? And the other build is this kangaroo. Kangaroo? Look, looks like a kangaroo to me. Show me. Dang, kangaroo, that's a squirrel, mate. Oh, what are you kidding? Alright, so I guess I'll, I'll build the kanga squirrel. Right, so you got the candy squirrel. I've got the uh, I've got the owl. Let's get going. So obviously the theme of our videos is for Andy and I to quiz each other back and forth on our chosen subjects. But today we're gonna we're gonna pepper our trivia with a few gags, a few uh, simple jokes. So here we go. So what did the duck say when you bought lipstick? Um, put it on my bill. <laughs> <laughs> the old one. The oldies and the goldies. Brilliant, oh. brilliant. Alright. I'm going to chuck in some trivia at this point. How many eyelids do owls have? How many eyelids do owls have? Zero. They're just always like that. <laughs> Um, no. Go on, enlighten me. Okay, it is three. They got three sets of eyelids because they got really sensitive eyes, right? Yeah. They got really sensitive eyes. They need to close it, like properly close them. Oh, wow. They can see like loads of lights. So if they don't close their eyes properly, they're not going to be able to sleep. So they got an upper eyelid for blinking, a lower eyelid that closes when they go to sleep. Right? And then another eyelid that comes diagonally across to clean their eyes out. And it's called a nictitating membrane. And it goes... <whistles> so I think when they've got their eyes open, they go... And they can clean their eyes, like they're windscreen wipers. Wow. So they've got like... All right, so they've got windscreen wipers. They've got normal eyelids, like every other animal in the world. Uh -huh. And then like a pair of curtains, so they can go to sleep. Yeah. Jesus. Mad, isn't it? Interesting. I guess, do they sleep during the day? Are they nocturnal? They are nocturnal. They so, are in So I guess you would need that extra kind of coverage, wouldn't you? Yeah. Like the curtains? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair dude. Fair dude. Sorry about that. Wasn't funny. No. It was uh, interesting, though. Interesting fact. All right. Zero points for me. Okay. How do squirrels have a positive effect on the environment? They poo in the woods. And what's, no? the, what's the positive effect of pooing in the woods? How would that help? They're not pooing in your garden. They're not pooing in the garden. They're doing it in the woods. They're, they're keeping it out of uh, out of your sight. Wood, oh, okay. Fair good. But that's not really the environment. That's just your own personal environment. Okay. All right. Um, they take nuts and bury them and only get... They only retrieve a small, they only retrieve a certain number of their nuts and they leave the rest of them in the floor and that's why. So they, they, they're responsible for the growth of oak trees. Okay, and what's the percentage then, genius? Mr. I didn't say squirrels, I only studied owls. 
I've done my research this week. It's seventy percent. It is seventy percent. Seventy percent of the nuts that they bury uh, are retrieved. The remaining thirty percent are left, and they sprout and become trees, which I think is fascinating. I think that's like good old squirrels, man. Like, cause you know they're like rodents, and people think that rodents are pests, but they do have a positive effect on the environment. I didn't realise that squirrels are a massive family of, uh, of animals, right? That includes chipmunks. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's three types, right? There's like the tree squirrels, which we know about, and then ground squirrels and flying squirrels. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Jeez. Yeah, yeah, and they're all part of the same family. Um, why, do, uh, why do owls not go singing in the rain? Um, why do owls not go singing in the rain? Is this a joke or a fact? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is a, uh, take your pick. I don't know if it's a fact. It's too, because it, they would get too wet to woo. Yes! <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Because it's too wet. To woo. Oh, that's rubbish. That's it's, rubbish. That's, that's the that's, worst that's joke. Terrible, I mean, I'm 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 happy that I got the answer, but that's a bad. That's not even a joke. That's not even a joke. I'm, I'm really impressed with the fact that you actually saw that one through. Yeah, I know. I, the pressure was on, though. I had to. <laughs> you got behind on points. I know. Yeah, serious. Right. Oh wow. Good. I'm back in the in the race. Get in there. Right, okay then, okay then. Alright then. If, you, if, if it's comedy you want, comedy you shall have. <laughs> this is brilliant. This is, this oh, is legit no. brilliant. Le- oh, legit man. brilliant. Are you ready? <laughs> this is scary me now. What do you call a dog that can do magic? Joke. No, it's blatantly not. It's just a general, <laughs> it's just a general animal joke, but it's really. I love the fact that I've, I've done all this squirrel research. I was like, oh, well, I had to throw a curveball, didn't I? After your, after your, like, what Scottish rare bird starts with PT from a few episodes ago? I figure, like, the way to get Andy is to throw a curveball, and here's my curveball. What do you call a dog that can do magic? A dog that can do magic has got to be uh, a. Oh man. I'll give you like 10 seconds. Okay. Uh, uh, bu- 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 um, uh, wand, wand, woof, woof, wand, bark, um, Paul Daniels, uh, I haven't got a clue. A labracadabra door. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Isn't that brilliant, though? Isn't that brilliant? The <laughs> labyrinth of that little. My next one is uh, is is a gag that harks back to last uh, to our last episode, right? What do you call an owl wearing a suit of armour? So I'm just going to be a knight, a knight owl. Ah! Oh, is that it? Yes, it's a knight owl. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. Is it your facts? Yeah, my facts. Okay then, right. So so the word squirrel comes from the Greek words skia ura. Two words, right? That's the original. That's the etymology of the word squirrel. So what do skia and ura mean? Hmm. Nut muncher. Nut muncher. That's what I think it means, because um, it's all about the nuts, the squirrels. Whenever you look up squirrels and squirrel gags and squirrel facts, I think it's all about the nuts. Is that one of your jokes? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure how friendly that gag is. Yeah, really. Look at this little squirrel hand here, squirrel arm, squirrel hand. Aww, that. that's really cute. That could grab a few. That's what, he, that's what he grabs his nuts with. That's what he grabs his nuts with, definitely. Um, no, that's kind of cute. Is that no? Which part's the thing? Oh, he's got a rotating, he's got a um, ball and socket. Ball and socket joint. Superb. Yeah. 
pretty good. Pretty oh, what do you think that's good? Well, in ski or aura, what do yes. they mean? I reckon it's something to do with uh, trees. It's even to do with nuts or trees. So I reckon uh, tree climber. If he's not nut muncher, tree climber. Tree climber. Now, tree climbing now, nut muncher. <laughs> Maybe yeah. skier could be like tree climber. Uh, one aura. word that means tree climber. And another word that means nut muncher. Brilliant. Tree climbing nut muncher is incorrect, my friend. I can't believe that. Correct. It's actually really cool. It's actually like a superhero name. Like little squirrels have superhero names. And I can imagine that because the winged squirrels that you were talking about, the flying squirrels, the ones that go like, yeah. when they become like a parachute. Yeah. They do look like, you know, animalistic little superheroes, don't they? Yeah. So they do. And, uh, and the little um, chipmunk dudes, the, the little ones that like stand up on their on their legs. Yeah. Um, yeah. They, they could be... Super heroic. Well. Yeah, they're pretty cool. So skia uh, means shadow, and aura means tail. Shadow tail. That's a pretty wow. badass name. That's a pretty badass name. Oh wow! Let me check that out. Shadow tail. That's amazing. Yeah, shadow tail. I mean, I think there should be a superhero called Shadow Tail. Right. Would it be a nut muncher? <laughs> yeah. Um, now, so that obviously link, links in with that, or, oh god, what's it called? Ouroboros or whatever. You know, that kind of snake that eats its own tail. That mythological creature. Really? Kind of. Squirrel and Ouroboros are connected. No, they no. just have tails, basically. <laughs> wow. I mean, we have tails, don't we, really? We have like a little Yeah, but piddly ours little... is very much a shadow. Really yeah, cool. it really is. Shadow <laughs> of a tail. Shadow of a former tail. Alright, I've got I've got a series of questions for you actually. Um so I'll give you three of okay. these. Alright, here we go. Uh, what owl had lead roles in Scent of a Woman, The Godfather and Starface? Owl Pacino. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I've ruined all of those films for you. I know how much of a fan you are. All right. Next. All right. What owl had the nickname Scarface and achieved notoriety during the Prohibition era? Al Capone. Correct. Um. All right. I don't know how many of these you want to do. Before all you of them now. I'm doing well. All right. Okay. Um. What Paul Simon um, song, uh, featuring an owl, starts with the lines, A man walks down the street and he asks, Why am I so soft in the middle now? Uh, was it, I can't remember, I don't know what it's called, but was it like, You can call me owl? Something like that. Correct! <laughs> oh, Next. Oh, Next. Alright, what's owl formulated the theory of relativity while working in the patent office in Bonn? Albert Einstein. Correct! You are racking them up this week. Yeah, man. Um, alright. Alright, uh, born in 365 BC, which owl had, by the age of 30, created one of the largest empires in history, which stretched from Greece to, uh, northeastern India? Alexander the Great. Another point to you. Alright, this Scottish owl invented the telephone in 1876, going on to co-found AT&T. Alexander Graham Bell. Correcto. I think there's something wrong with this, um, with this construction. I can't get these pieces on. Oh, I know what I've done. I know what I've done. Hang on. This is a quick little plate. Hang on. So the uh, the squirrel tail is interesting. Look at this. Oh, did you want the last? Uh, did you want the last two? Oh, go on. Yeah, go I on. Just, I, I just want to introduce you to the squirrel tail, which I think is actually quite fascinating. It's got two points of articulation, two like complete, um, like three hundred sixty degrees of rotation in two places. I think that's actually that's really cool. pretty pretty cool. 
You can do a lot with that. Well, the way that, that squirrels move their tails, like when you see them in a park, and they do, they do do the kind of weird articulations that you show me. Of course they, they do. They kink. Yeah, it's they like kink. that's their main way of communicating. That was going to be my next question, but that's uh, that is uh, they they send off signals, different kinds of signals with their tail. They communicate with their tail. Go on, go on, more owl questions. I'm I think, okay, to be um, fair, I think I should only get one point if I get them all right. You reckon? Yeah. A lot. I mean, there's, I still owe you a few points. I'm actually giving you a bunch of points because I feel really bad about, like, I'm pretty sure I've given you some proper crap questions in the past. Um, all right. Uh, okay. This American politician and environmentalist was a 45th uh, vice president the United States from 1993 to 2001. He's an owl. Al Gore. Correct. Okay. Um. Here we go. I think I think you'll like you'll like this one. This um this soul singer in the early 1970s. Uh, it's famous for uh, for the songs "Take Me to the River," um, "Tired of Being Alone," and "Let's Stay Together." He was a reverend. Al Green. Yes. I'm going <laughs> to cut out the crap, the incorrect guess. I'm going to cut straight to Al Green. <laughs> reverend Al Green. Yeah. I, I could go on all day, but like I just think it's yeah. The comedy kind of comedy value. Is right, kind of, right, maybe, maybe, maybe. This can maybe go we'll on stop it. Maybe we'll stop at Al Green and I'll just reward myself with a point. Yeah, good point. idea. All right, so back to the old squirrels. Um, which squirrel was an actor in the 1975? No. Um, <laughs> Jesus. I mean, yeah, 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 in the US. In the US? So how many major like city parks, like Central Park in New York is riddled with squirrels? Is it because they the the, the locals feed the birds? And the squirrels are sort of scavenging bird seed? Mm, nope. No. Huh. Okay. Uh Oh wow! They've just done this really strange thing, right? They're on this um on this piece here with a face. I've got like um I've got like a bit that has like four dots on it. Mm. Who says stick this one with three dots on it? And I'm like, if you stick three dots on here, you think it's gonna be yeah. this is this so you're what is it yeah. gonna be slightly to the left? Mm. What I didn't realise is if you look really closely at a three piece. It's got these tiny little holes. It's got these tiny little protrusions. Is that right? Oh yeah, um, it does. Yeah. And those, do you see them? Yeah. Right? So those bits, those bits here, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, they go into these bits. The open Whoa. parts. And then it ends up like totally symmetrical. That's insane. It, it, it or whatever. That's insane. That's a great little tip. I, I had no idea you could do that. I think Lego needs a round of applause for that bit of innovation. For that's sure. Seriously. You know that Diplo does that? That, that, that yeah, I, I never knew that was possible. That's, that's fantastic. That's awesome. Is it something to do with a red squirrel or grey squirrel thing? No, that's but more then... in the UK. That is, that is okay. a thing. Um, so, yeah. The um the grey squirrels in the UK were a, a, a form of invasive species, I believe, where they were like um, introduced later on, and the red squirrels were all there, kind of like happily like munching their nuts, and then uh, the grey squirrels come along because they're a bit bigger and a bit tougher. The grey squirrels are to the red squirrels what the African elephants are to the Asian elephants, if you remember our previous episode. Okay. Yeah. So um. So yeah. So the uh, grey squirrels started taking over. I think the grey squirrels. The other thing about the grey squirrels is they carry something called I think 
squirrel pops. Oh, yeah, 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 that's a fact. Yeah. It's actually, not only do they beat them up, um, but, like, they make them sick as well, which is a bit harsh. I mean, if you're going to bully a, a, another species out of existence, you know, beating them up is one thing. Like, the African elephants and the, the Indian elephants, you know, if they're going to have a fight, do it out like men. Right? That's, that's okay. I'm all right with that, but if you come along and just cough all over them. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Are they protected? Um, no. So they were okay, introduced. I give up. No idea. Okay, so they were introduced. They were introduced to like major U.S. Uh, parks in cities because they wanted to add a kind of a a, a a rustic feel, like a pleasant. There's a quotation to add a bucolic atmosphere. That was entertaining, enlightening, and salubrious. So they weren't there at all, and then like, so they imported them from the countryside into these big city parks. So people would be like, "Oh, look at that pretty squir- squirrel climbing up a tree and scratching his nuts," you know, in an American accent, of course. Hey, look at that pretty squirrel climbing up a tree and scratching his nuts. That was all like intended. Yeah, that was like a that was the plan to have people. Which I get, because, like, so, obviously, like, you know, with people that don't know, obviously, I live in Turkey, and um, my wife is Turkish. When we came back to London, um, like, ten years ago, or something like that, like, she saw a squirrel for the first time in her life. So we don't have them in Turkey. It's not like a, a major stomping ground for the old squirrel population. And so she saw a squirrel for the first time, and she was like, oh, my God. She was like completely flabbergasted by it. So, so, so sending you a um a squirrel from like a meat shop that I found online where they skin it is probably not going to go down that well. No, uh, I don't know. Depends because she does like eating her meat. So, um, and that's not a euphemism. It's really not a euphemism. <laughs> um, so yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know. Try it, maybe try it. Alright, so we've worked out that, that owls have really um, advanced eyes. Quite, um, something else quite special about their eyes, right? And that is that they, their eyes, they don't rotate. Their eyes, they, they're completely unable to rotate their eyes. Right. I mean, have you seen an, uh, an owl rolling his eyes? Or looking left and right? They don't, right? Yeah. The way that they, um, they rotate their eyes is they rotate their whole neck. Yeah, but right, in, yeah. In order for them to uh, to rotate their neck all the way around, right, um, they have a lot of neck vertebrae. So humans have got seven vertebrae in their necks. How many vertebrae do um, owls have in their necks? That's a good question. This is a good question. This is the kind of question that I would have absolutely no <laughs> chance of answering. Well, humans have got seven We've got, uh, okay, so your options are 7, 10, 14, or 20. Twenty seems just a bit too like on the nose, doesn't it? Really, twenty and ten too. It's either seven or fourteen. Seven would be a bit of a non-event. So I'm going fourteen. Ah, oh, spot on, spot on. Fantastic. Really? I'm gonna make these models. Like, I think, right? I'm looking at the model and I'm looking at how much stuff I've got left over. Yeah. Usually with a C model, I expect them to kind of really make use of the kit and really kind of give you basically another model. You know, it's three and one. I want, like, I want them to really give me something that uses everything. Yeah, this, right. Yeah, I reckon, you know, another challenge would be what can you make with a remaining stuff? Because there's another animal waiting to be made here. Right. Right, yeah, absolutely. But then, yeah, you're right, you are right, you are right. They, they could have it, maybe is... made a bit of a bigger owl with the remaining kit, at least. I just feel a little bit short-changed, like... Right. It's not a bad owl. You know, it's got nice articulation, but not a massive amount. It's sort of furry, it's kind of got feathers, it's got a, these ear tufts, which incidentally... They're, actually, they're not actually the owl's ears, apparently. They're just tufts. Okay. They're not actually, Yeah, fat. Um, but yeah, I just feel it's like, it's, it's really cute. I mean, it's like, 
Japanese kawaii. You know, it's cute, but they should have done more with it. Right. Yeah, I, I kind of agree. I, I, it's the same with the squirrel. Squirrel's kind of cute looking. Um, but. Interesting, interesting. You know, like the, you know, we're talking about, I think the tail is the most interesting part of the squirrel. Don't they? Yeah, for sure. Far. Um, you know, and the little hands. You know, cute the ears. I do like, I do like this feature. The little teeth. The little teeth there on the jaw. Because they do have, they do have these little teeth, don't they? Like that. Now what, um, next question. Uh, how many front teeth? do a squirrel have and what is interesting about their front teeth? All squirrels have four teeth. I think like the flying squirrels, the chipmunks, the um, the, the marmots, I think they've all got four front teeth. Two at the top, two at the bottom. Um, and they're, they're special because they keep on growing through their whole life because they eat nuts. Brilliant. Uh, like the teeth get worn down. But I like the fact that it's two. Like it's been two little studs. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I think that's brilliant. I think that's probably my favourite little detail on this squirrel. The tail's pretty fantastic, but though that that is a very that's that's good attention to detail. Yeah, it's not bad considering like the small number of pieces used. The yeah. detail is pretty. I think it's more coincidental, right? But I kind of I like the the, the, the mouth pouch, like the cheek pouches, but. Gotta say, it still looks like a kangaroo to me. It does look like a kangaroo, doesn't it? Uh, there is probably like a kangaroo set in Australia, you know what I mean, that kind of just used the same pieces but slightly different colours. Less brown, more beige. So, should we have a look at the scores, geese? Yeah, let's do it. Yes, finally, I emerged victorious after a long wait. Oh, congratulations, mate. So, um, so what do you call a bear with no ears? Uh, B? Because it's like B without the... No? Um, yeah, no, but I would have said... I would have said a B. You can call it whatever you like, it can't hear you. That's a better joke. That's a better joke. All right. What did, what did the uh, what did the farmer call the cow that couldn't produce milk? An udder failure. What do you call a bear with no teeth? Useless. Uh, I, uh, I don't know. Uh... All right. Let me let me rephrase it. What do you call a bear with no teeth? A gummy bear. <laughs> How do, you, how do you make an octopus laugh? Give it ten <laughs> tickles. <laughs> okay, that's quite good. That's you can use these. You can use these as much as you want. You don't need to credit me. What did the buffalo say when he dropped off his son at school? Um, don't know. Bye, son. Oh, guys! Bison. Yeah, the one about the owl with the sore throat. He didn't give two hoots. Brilliant. Love it. Love it. Love it. <laughs> Did you know? Did you know dogs can't operate MRI machines, but cats can? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right. So, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, as you always do. So, if you like what you've seen, then another thing you can do to support us is go over to our Patreon page, where you can give us a small donation, which will really help us to continue to make these videos. Mm -hmm.